say we have a flat plate like this we have a liquid drop of this sort another flat plate has a liquid drop of this sort applying what we just stated the tangent to the liquid interface away from the solid which is this and the tangent along the solid face within the liquid so this so this is our contact angle theta in this case this tangent and this tangent together will give us an angle which is the contact angle here here the theta is greater than 90 here theta is less than 90 this is a typical example say of mercury this can be given by water if we have a case if we have theta equal to 0 degree what will really happen is we will get like this a slick or sheen of liquid throughout the solid plate this property of the liquid of spreading or not spreading on the flat solid surface is known as wetting water is thus a wetting liquid mercury unlike water is not a wetting liquid if we have theta equal to 0 we have a liquid that wets completely so this is an ideal ideology basically this is not in real life an ideal case of our theories this is what a liquid which wets completely this is only an ideal or theoretical case if we consider the forces which act at the junction of the solid and liquids what we have is something like this say this is the solid wall this is the meniscus here what really needs to balance off here because it's in equilibrium the adhesive force let's say we consider a small point on this surface the adhesive force is the force between the solid and liquid which is say in this direction there is a weight acting on this fluid element and we have a cohesive force which is acting into the bulk of the liquid so what really needs to balance off is the tangential component of all these forces so the tangential component of all these forces must balance off for equilibrium now let us look at what is known as a capillary effect say we have like this a uh, surface of fluid uh, say this big container there is a big container it is filled with some liquid we dip a capillary tube here in real life a capillary tube is very thin 
very very thin this is a highly magnified version of that so what happens is the liquid fills up this capillary tube up to some height h say this is water so the shape of meniscus is like this this height is say h we are interested to find what is this height h when this capillary is dipped in this container containing water say the radius of the capillary tube is small r the shape of meniscus let us assume shape of meniscus is an arc of a circle of radius rs so basically we have some circle whose center lies here so this distance is rs we can find this height by two methods let us consider the first method we consider the pressure method let us consider a point here within the capillary tube p because the liquid here and the liquid here is same so the pressure here within the liquid must be equal to the pressure here at the surface of the liquid which is outside just because of the fact that pressure at an equal level within the same fluid is same so the pressure here and the pressure here must be the same what is the pressure going to be here the pressure here will be the pressure due to this height of liquid column h plus some pressure due to this meniscus now what is going to be that pressure we know that this circle or the sphere if we complete this sphere of radius rs if we complete this this will act like a gas bubble within air this gas bubble will have an excess pressure of 2s by rs inside its volume so the net pressure inside this gas bubble will going is going to be p atmospheric plus this but this is in case we have this within the atmosphere what is really the situation here is that if we complete this gas bubble the pressure inside is going to be some p plus 2s by rs now this pressure which is within this hypothetical gas bubble is going to be the atmospheric pressure because pressure at any point outside is basically the atmospheric pressure so p is going to be p atm minus 2s by rs this pressure acts because of the fluid element uh, because of the meniscus so the pressure acting is at this point is p atm minus 2s by rs plus let's say the density of the liquid is rho so rho g into the small h this is the pressure at this point this must also be the pressure at a point outside at the same level which is nothing but the atmospheric pressure so this gives us rho g h equal to 2s by rs now what is rs because we need to find out h in terms of parameters which are known rs is not something known because rs is something which is hypothetical what is actually known is the radius of the capillary tube so we need to express rs as the radius of the capillary tube how would we do do that let us consider the contact angle this is the contact angle say theta b 
because this is an arc and this is a tangent to that arc this angle is going to be 90 degrees and because this is a straight line this angle here is going to be nothing but 90 minus theta so RS resolved horizontally is going to be nothing but RS sine of 90 minus theta so RS sine 90 minus theta is equal to small r therefore rs is equal to r sec theta let us replace it here we get is rho g h being equal to 2 s by r sec theta which becomes nothing but r by cos theta so r comes here cos theta goes in the numerator and we get small h equal to 2s cos theta by rho g r this is the height to which liquid rises in the capillary let us consider the next method